What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you're stopping by for the first time, click that subscribe button down here and stay up to date with my newest videos, guys. Without further ado, so I just got home. I'm still in my work clothes. Uh, the FedEx guy just arrived. He just dropped the package, so let's check it out. Right. So before that, I'm going to show you guys our little pet chameleon. Look at this little dude up here. <laughs> His name is Rango. Uh, close up while he's moving, but... He's shedding, so he's growing pretty big. You can see that, guys. That's a little pet chameleon. <laughs> so, let's see what just arrived. Oh, yeah. JMS. <whistles> New wheels for the scat pack, and let's see the size. 17s by 4 and a half. Oh yeah, we're gonna get some more weight reduction off this car. Got me two front set of front runner skinnies. I'm gonna get a knife and cut them out. Then we're gonna take a look inside and see what comes in the box, guys. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So I went ahead and uh, cut out the tape. So I brought them to our um, guest room. So this is where I this is our guest room. So this is where I store my like part of my stuff. So that's my Hellcatter box, the one I had. Uh, rubber bottles, just spare boxes. So let's let's see what comes in the box. These, what I like about these wheels, they already come with the lug nuts. So uh, I was talking to SRTB5 Blue, and he told me they already come with the lug nuts. So it's pretty damn good. So we're gonna see how the JMS look, and let's see. Come with a little plastic cover on top. Oh man, this design looks pretty good. Oof. Man, they look nice. Polished black with the carving inside so it could stand out aluminum. And these are nice. They're gonna look so nice on the scat pack. I'm gonna throw them up here in the bed. Ooh, damn. They look nice. So these are four, four and a half wide, 17s by four and a half wide, uh, JMS Avengers, front runners for the scat pack. So we're going to have some weight reduction on them. I think they're like 15 pounds each. Uh, what else comes in the box? Oh, you got the little catch for the center catch. Let me get the little nut. And cut it out. So that's our center cap, and these should be our dug nuts, so we'll see them in a bit. Oh man, it's gonna look so nice on the scat pack. Let me open the lug nuts. All right, so I already got them opened, and it's your lug nuts. And there's like a valve inside, let me see. There's like something inside, yeah. Comes with a air valve too right here so it's a complete setup guys they come with everything you need lung nuts already so these are kind of perfect for the car let me get the other ones out just give me a sec all right let's get the other one out too and put them side by side to see how good they're gonna look man i'm stoked i like the way they look um i think the scat pack's gonna look pretty nice with these Later down the road, I'm gonna get the full package for the back. But, damn, these are nice. They're not that, man, they're light. They're completely light, so they're pretty good. Let's get our center cap. Here's our center cap, JMS. Hmm. And our extra lug nuts for the other side. There you go, guys. Side by side comparison. What do you guys think? Comment down below. What do you guys think? And already, the cars are already trapping pretty damn good. So, 118 and having some traction issues. So, this car should run with with the new tires I'm getting, the Mickey Thompson's MTs for the back, 
And now the skinny's in front, cutting off weight, maybe like 100 and, 150 pounds in front, cutting off weight, taking out the seats, taking out the back seats, doing a little bit of weight reduction on it. Should do an 11.3, 11.4, easy, no doubt. But I'm still waiting on the tires. This tire should be here maybe another like couple of a week or so. I just put in the order yesterday. So uh, waiting on the tires. Once they come in, guys, um, I'll strap them on and we're going to take it to the track. So that's that, that's what we're doing. So these are the new wheels. I hope you guys like these this, the way I do because I like them. They look pretty damn nice. And one thing that I went with JMS is because uh, they're cheap and affordable. And their design is pretty damn good. And a lot of I've seen a lot of people run these wheels already. And they had a lot of uh, good feedback on them. And that's why I went with them. Um, I was going to go to the race stars, but everybody seems to have the race stars. So I don't want to be like another guy. Like Everybody has their own uh, uh, ideas, you know. And their looks, but I just wanted to be a little bit different. Go to the JMS, then stick my the other by the JMS on the back. So, so why did I went with the JMS? Uh, first, the JMS wheels look pretty damn nice. Uh, the price is you can't beat the price, and their quality is pretty damn good. Uh, I've seen a lot of people on their forums and 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 some people I've talked to that they run these on the Mustangs and on the Hellcats and on the Chargers, and everybody has good feedback on them. So, I just went ahead and buy them. Be a little bit different most of the people have the race stars they look pretty nice but uh they're a little bit more expensive so i already got the front runners i'm gonna keep the bottles for now then i'm gonna switch them and buy the jms so they can look the same on the back too um man i like them i think the car's gonna look nice with them the tires um other people go with the 28s by four and a half in front 17s I'm gonna go with 27s because I already have the Demon Spring, so the car in the front it's a little bit lifted, like an inch in front. So I'm gonna get the, at least the 20s, the 27s to make it at least leveled out. Um, some people go with the 28s because they don't want to be all the way down, but I'm I'm fine with that. So I'm gonna go with 27s by four and a half 17s. Um, so that's the tire size I'm gonna go with, guys. Um, I love the wheels. I love the way they look. Um, I just can't wait to see them on the car. So I'm going to have to wait until the tires come in. I bought these at Jegs, and the tires are going to come from Jegs too. And I'm going to switch my back tires from Mickey Thompson's because the needles, uh, they just can't can handle. Uh, I've tried track by it. I've done pretty damn good burnouts. I've lowered the air pressure to 15 pounds, and the car still fucking spins. So um, I can do a full, uh, full power launch. So we're going to do those Mickey Thompson's in the back and run the new tires in the front with the skinnies. And also, guys, I'm going to order some uh, BP Racing Gas 110. I'm going to do a mix from 93 and mix that because on my last runs, on the two last runs, ones when I was racing my friend with the GT500 and uh, when I raced that Mustang on, on the last on the last run, um, the car picked up five degrees of timing from, from point A to point B, and it was just bringing the car back down, the backing up the power down, uh, and it's still trapped 118, so... Man, I've seen some other cars. My tuner's been telling me um, he's had some cars run 11.30 at 1.18 with a 1.5. And you know, guys, you've seen this car do a 1.5 easy. But um, now we're going to get new meat, new wheels. We'll do some weight reduction on the car and get that 11.3, guys. So if you guys like what you see, please share, like, and subscribe. Stay up to my newest videos, guys. Share the videos and comment down below what you guys think the car's going to hit and if you like these wheels. So thank you, guys. Peace.